Welcome back. Less than 48 hours from Election Day here in the city of Houston. In the race for mayor, frontrunner John Whitmire is being barraged with negative and some would say misleading broadcast media and direct mail attacks from four, count them, four different opponents. Sticking to a high ground strategy, Whitmire has chosen not to return fire against the opposition in his substantial media buy. Panel, given this race will likely produce a runoff, do you think the attack ads accurate or not, have eroded any of Whitmire's lead. Paul Castro, you know, I get some that, that paint paint Whitmire as kind of like a communist, and the other one is a collaborator with the hard right. I mean, <laughs> you know, I think we all know his record. Uh, it, it's neither one of those things. What's, right. your, what's your take? Well, he has a 50-year record, so I don't think people should be surprised by where he stands. I have friends on the Republican side who think that he is, you know, the second coming of Mao Tse, you know, Tae Sung. <laughs> and then on the other end, I have people who think that he is immediately going to flip and become a Republican as soon as he's elected, uh, as the Dallas mayor did. I don't think either of those are true. I think, obviously, he's kind of run, running the center lane. Uh, this is obviously going to go to a runoff, and I think at the runoff, the negatives on, um, on Sheila Jackson Lee are going to be higher than his and I think that's why he's going to get through. Sue, I, I respect your acumen and, and strategy, <laughs> but is John smart in, 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 in holding the high ground and not firing back? Yep. You know, these are nonpartisan races, so you're not a Republican. Nah. Not a <laughs> well, they are. Yeah. Th this is what I was taught by some wise people um, when I started to run. Uh, if, if you're in a race and you're behind, and the only view and the only thing you talk about is the back end of what you're seeing in front of you, then you don't need you don't need to be elected. You don't need to lead because you're not a leader, and that's what I see. Everybody's you know looking at 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 the the back end of the leader, and all they're doing is throwing rocks and going after that target. You don't need to be the leader, of Houston, if that's all you can see and talk about. Yeah. All right, Charles Blaine. Here we go. Uh, if you're the Republican minority in this city, it's substantial, and you're down to two, uh, a runoff of two. Do you vote for the, in your mind, the lesser of two evils, or the person you can think you can do business with? Well, I think those are the same thing, right? <laughs> the same thing. And yeah, and I think that's what I think that's what you do. You go with the person that you think that you can do business with, and at least agree with on a on a certain set of issues. I mean, there are things, you know, say if it were a runoff between um, uh, Sheila Jackson and John Whitmire, there are issues that I think he has spoken about from ethics reform to a lot of other things that, and certainly policing and crime, that align with Republicans and that align with a lot of Democrats as well. Um, and so I do think that people are going to look at that and, and do that way. And then, like we talked about before. Before, many times before we talk about uh, how a lot of folks have a kind of a predetermined position of Sheila Jackson Lee in their head and I think for a lot of Republicans that's hard to overcome final 30 yeah, seconds I, I'm gonna I'm gonna share a, a proverb uh, the tallest tree catches the most Sun the most wind and the most rain right you, all of them can hurt you all of them can help you but you got to take it right so I think that's what's happening with 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 Whitmire. I think the reason he's being attacked is because he's the, he is statistically uh, the front runner. Sue made a great point. Uh, you know, it, it, this should be the conversation should be about the city. The conversation shouldn't be about the candidate. It should be about the opportunity and the beauty of this city, like the Astros. Awesome.